400 grams here of rhubarb from the garden, giving it a wash, just sort of clank it up into chunks like this. Four cloves of garlic. Then I've got a thumb-sized piece of ginger. Just slice it up into like, little pieces like that. And get that straight in there. I'm going to go two nice chilies. One very heaped teaspoon of five spice. And then four tablespoons of soy sauce. You want four tablespoons of honey as well. That honey is really required to balance up our lovely rhubarb here, which I'm also going to chuck in. And then just whack the old lid on. Get yourself a roasting tray and some tin foil. I've got pork belly here, a kilo, and then about a pint of water. And then I'm going to pour this lovely paste in. Look at that. Bang this in the oven for about an hour and a half at 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. Right, that's had an hour and a half. Mm. So that's tasting great now. So let's get some ground nut oil or sunflower oil in a pan. Just one little layer of it. So if I get the chunks out like this and just place them straight in there. At the same time, I want to put some noodles in, one of these little packs per person, um, in some salted boiling water, lid on top. And I want to just brown this lovely pork off. Over here, I have got some different cresses and some picked coriander. So just to bring all those lovely shoots together, I've got some spring onions here, but I just want to finely slice. So I've got plain boiled noodles here. And that little bit of water that's dripping off there now, keep a bit of that, because that will keep it light and steamed. So I want to get that lovely sauce, put that right in the middle, and then just place that lovely, rich, hot, crisp meat on top. And again, contrast of textures there. And then at this point in the game, you want to get some of your spring onion from a height and sprinkle it. Right? You want to get some of your shiso, some of your coriander from a height and sprinkle it over the top. Some of the cresses and the moolies and stuff like that. And then just serve it with half a lime that you can just squeeze over the top. Then if you want a bit of extra chilli... Brilliant. 